So as a, as a duo, we, uh, we met almost 20 years ago now when we were both students at the Guildhall School of Music and Drama. Um, we're both studying principal study, same principal study professor, uh, Robert Brightmore, and um, chamber music and duet playing was a core part of the course. Uh, so we met there and pretty much played ever since. Well, what I, uh, what I really like is that the duets is a sort of theme, uh, not all of them, but more or less uh, there's a theme running through them, which is that they're all quite folk inspired. So Helen Sanderson's arrangement of that traditional tune from Somerset, but also there's music from Latin America. Um, and, uh, and then even, you know, the very first piece, The Bells of Dawn by Peter Nuttall, it has something kind of, yeah, non-classical about it as well, which I think is nice to bring into the mix. So we play on original instruments. They're both from 1820. They're both French uh, from Paris, where the guitar enjoyed hugely popular at the time. And we also play on later Spanish models, torres, replicas. We are normally divided with Jürgen playing first guitar and I play second guitar. And I suppose a little bit like a, a string quartet would always have the same person playing first violin. We, we always have that division. In student days, we really enjoyed playing the 19th century repertoire. And so that in a way has been our sort of both our training and also our starting point for our own recordings and concert tours now. So really we work often with, um, with original repertoire, but often repertoire that hasn't been played for a very long time. And an example of that is our, our recent Jose Ferreira album for Naxos, which has just been released. You know, I personally think that <coughs> Trinity, including uh, duets as, as part of the pathway, if you like, all the way up to, uh, to grade five, I think it's great because, you know, as, as Jürgen has said, I mean, just you can learn so much from working with someone else. In practical terms, it reflects the reality of, of actually learning the guitar because we're not an orchestral instrument necessarily, so actually the chances are if you get to play with someone else, it's going to be with your teacher or with a friend. So I think it's a really core part of how the instrument is taught. Two guitars in the room, basically, and I think that's why it's really lovely that that option is there. Some of them are also a bit sort of copycat, aren't they? The mm. theme is introduced in, in the first guitar part and then you hear it again in the second. I mean, rather than someone telling you how to phrase a melodic line, you can just play with your teacher and you, you'll hear what he or she does and then you could pick that up in a very natural way mm. through having played the piece with someone who has come a little bit further than you. And also playing together with your teacher could the fact that you have to follow someone else's tempo or rhythm makes you learn that skill to, to interact to what someone else is doing. And I think it's a very fine thing, isn't it? Because uh, you will hear immediately if you're slightly not together. Um, and when you're practicing the part on your own, of course, you wouldn't be listening for that. And so it's a, it brings in a really a different dimension to the experience of learning and playing because you're needing to listen to someone else as well as to yourself. And of course, a sort of Trinity-specific point, um, I think actually some of the duets would work really nicely with the two student players, uh, maybe with a more advanced player who's a little bit further down the road playing the accompaniment. And again, a great way to supplement your learning by playing with friends or not just your teacher, who you're probably going to see every week.